It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai Pereira. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your fingers, back your fingers. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Big leg kick land. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Effective strike there by Adesanya. Nice one-two there. Oh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> we got a fight, folks. Knee to the body. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, big punch land. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Beautiful body kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice shot to the body there. That one sneak in. Nice strike. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. So 31 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that kick is good by Adesanya. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, you got to love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was going to take it to this guy. That is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Just over two minutes to go. Nice loop and punch. Back and forth we go. Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. And they separate. 
Just misses with the right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice punch by Adesanya. Slips the punch. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Both fighters throwing heat now. That right hand landed. Oh. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big kick lands. Oh, that right hand is on point. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. And he caught the kick. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Ten seconds to go. Slips that left hand. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. Let's go, guys, fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Whoa! He's a close. He's hurt bad. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, big elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh. Oh. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Big knee lands there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press... Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, big left hook there.
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Adesanya's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. And he's back up. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Effective punch there by Adesanya. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, huge right hand. Again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Nice punch there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big power shot there. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to... Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice combination, yes. Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! That's how you finish your fight. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And both guys really... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And just inches away from... Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, straight right. Holy smokes! Oh. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, he continues to... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! 
beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing.